between Nugent Hopkins and Warren Fogel as we're set for game 80. And for the Oilers, their 41st at home. Drysaddle wins the opening faceoff. We weren't sure at the morning skate whether CC would go. He got the approval from head athletic trainer TD Force and played the game. And now here's McDavid's first shift to the net. Centering pass and it went off the last pick, and he scores. McDavid needs all of five seconds to make it one nothing. Welcome back, Captain. Wasn't in the, the warm-up before the game, and this is his first touch of the ice. Outstanding. Outlet pass up the ice on the tape, and he just drives it into the zone. Gets a little bit of a bounce here. It looks like... So now, Henrique moves into the circle, replacing McDavid. Wins the draw cleanly back to Kulak's shot, and Henrique scores on the rebound. Right what you talked about on the onset of our telecast, Louis. Adam Henrique planting himself just outside the blue paint and burying his 24. For this face off here, it's Henrique that steps in. So he steps in and wins the draw. And then a little wrist that goes off the body of a shark in front, drops down in front of Henrique, and he jams it home. But guess what happens? After the face off, you move yourself to the net. All three Oilers on. He's dumped it into the Edmonton zone. He's points an 11 straight for the Sharks. That's the third longest active streak in the league right now. Henry Thrun reversing. Corey Perry's going to pick that one off. He's got Holloway. Instead, McLeod shoots off the crossbar. Rebound slid out the other side. Perry deflected it. Now Burrows. Wrist shot. That one off a boot. And it was Burrows with the ill-fated icing call that set up Edmonton's second goal. Here's a breakout. Fogel shoots and scores. 3-0. Warren Fogel. His 18th. And Edmonton shelling the Sharks. And a great decision here for Fogel. You've got the wide open lane in the net. Take it. Great work by Dreisaitl in the defensive zone. Good pressure by Edmonton. The one-handed feed, Dreisaitl to Fogel. He's got Nugent Hopkins as a left-handed option on the right-hand side. This is just a battle one. He gets the inside track on Burroughs, and then the one-handed pass to Fogel. Primary assist on this. Kenzie Blackwood, who beat Edmonton back in November, did not make the trip. He's been banged up. Here's Henrique, back door, score! Dylan Holloway, his second goal since being called up from Bakersfield. And his fifth of the season, Edmonton extends to a 4 nothing lead. With McDavid and Dreisaitl up on that line, throw this combination up. But this is just good work down low. And something that Dylan Holloway talked about playing with Corey Perry. He says, you don't have a play, kid. Put it down low. Continue to cycle. Continue to have possession of the puck. And it pays off with a beautiful pass from Henrique to Holloway in the slot. After they cycle it around a couple of times, find that sweet spot. Wow. <laughs> I'll take three quarters of that right now. <laughs> 100. That is impressive. Kyle Burrows up the right-hand side. Backing up tonight, by the way, is Georgi Romanov. Here's McDavid breaking in, tried to dish. Rattled around, still loose. And the Sharks able to keep it out of their own net. He never even looked to no. shoot that puck, and he why would he? <laughs> he wasn't shooting under <laughs> any circumstances. And then backhander, short side. That's going to be Daniil Gushin with his first National Hockey League goal. Now the American Hockey League for the Barracuda before being recalled. And they said he plays with some jam. Nice little swim move here as he chops it by, swims around, and then just from a sharp angle, gets this puck in, and good things happen. It's a little bit of a fluky one. The knuckles through, goes off the pad, somehow gets by. Following Gushin, able to squeak one through Skinner. Back home to Bouchard. Dry subtle redirected behind Tully score. Vogel muscles at home 5 1. And this is just sticking with it. Warren Vogel eventually will jam this home, but it's the work in the corners once again. There's a good puck battle. Looks like it's going to get out. This has happened way too many times early for the San Jose Sharks. They have just not been able to get that puck out of their zone. Redirected on route to the net by Nugent Hopkins, and Fogel stays with it. Good job to be around the blue paint and bash in the rebound. Great backtrack by McDavid to get all the way back. That was a tap-in for, for Granlin. At least would have had a real high-quality chance. Zach Hyman looking for Adam Henrique. He shot redirected off the post. Somehow that stayed out. Gretzky.
he did 11 straight times between 81 and 91. Nurse fanned on it. Giovanni Smith break away. Yeah, Stewart Skinner. Got through Gushin. Perry tried to drag it out in front, knocked away. There's another guy that can work the walls, is he? Corey Perry just loves being in there. Centering pass, what a save by Cooley, his best of the night. Robbing Holloway of what would have been his second goal of the night. Holloway, a dart, Bouchard, Perry taps at home, 6-1. Beautiful three-way passing play, and Corey Perry has a dozen this year. This is the line since Holloway's been recalled from Bakersfield they put together. Two speedy guys with a grizzled KG veteran. Beautiful. Behind the back pass on that one. You mentioned it coolly. Fends that one off. But then they go to work again. Use the wall. Chip it in deep. Beautiful cross pass Holloway. A better one as Bouchard finds Perry, who's just kind of worked his way out at the right time. He stops at first, jams at home. He's been around. Also was on that World Cup gold medal winning team two years later. And David a lead pass for Zach Hyman. Vlasic is back. Hyman to Henrique in front. Oh, oh, brilliantly. What a finish. Driving the net. Cody Cece with his fifth of the year. And it's 7-1. Just a good play out of the zone here. You're going to see McDavid puts it up the middle. Nice job by Hyman. Gained some space. Little stop up. Henrik with a beautiful feed into CC. And we talked about this experiment putting Henrik with McDavid and Hyman. And it's worked out very well in this game so far. <laughs> beautiful redirection by CC on a sweet pass from Henrik. Henrik, a three point night. CC Smith from Hyman and Henrik. Here's Corey Perry looking to make it 8 1. Dishes for score. Bouchard finishes. Cooley down and out. And the Oilers' lead increases to a touchdown. Romanov's going to step in there, as you mentioned, and rightfully so. You saw this the last start. Edmonton against the San Jose Sharks. They came out storming, and again here, just run Cooley right out of the, the nets. And he doesn't want to come out. He's on his knee in there, but... It's 8-1 to one here, still with 6-11 left in the second period. Great patience here by Perry, and then he threads it through to Booth. Right now, the Sharks have passed Atlanta. And this is now the worst goal differential by an NHL club since the 94 Senators. McDavid walks in, ditches, there it is! 100 assists! Connor McDavid setting up Hyman's 54th goal! The century mark! Edmonton 9-1. Congratulations, Connor, on another unbelievable milestone for yourself and your team. And guess who? So fitting that Zach Hyman is number one target all year long to jam this one home. A lot of guys who played in the league can't say that. But Kyle Grandley, shot coming, and that whistled off a skinner. And out of play. Did that kiss the bar? I really like that line, but I also agree with what the panel said. This is a much deeper team than last year in that regard. They're getting production from different players up and down the lineup, and they're going to need it. Conservatively just dumps it in. Edmonton has no desire to embarrass San Jose tonight. Nico Stern, centering pass, and Skinner slid over to make a tough save. Back on December the 28th, they got four goals in the first. They got four in the first again tonight, and tacked on another five to put this game hopelessly out of reach. Drysaddle thundering his way through the neutral zone. Dishes off. Vogel! Run the goal post. It is bid for that hat trick. Romanov must feel like he's in the video game. Duck hunts. Here's Hyman. Handing it short side. And Romanov able to make the save. Hyman again. Two games left for Edmonton. Two more opportunities to talk and shuffle combinations as Louis talking about. Here's Scramlin on a 2 on 1. Drag move, Wade shoots, save Skinner, rebound of the blue paint, score! 9-2, Sharks get one back. Second time he's come back like this, and for DeHarnay, it's kind of tied up in the middle of the ice. It's a little pickpocket by Granlin. He sets it in motion. Nugent Hopkins takes that away. Great patience by Granlin. As you mentioned, there's one stop made on an attempted play in tight, and then eventually it finds its way through, as you see, Zetterlund eventually is the Chipped safely out by Stern. 
Here's an opportunity brewing for Portolo, and fired it through the middle at the horn. And Edmonton 